Hey, what's going on guys? So I know it's been a while, but I'll explain all of that towards the end of the video. But for now, let's get right into what I eat in a day as a fat person. I mean, some of the things that you're going to see in this video, your brain won't be able to keep up because it simply defies all laws of science. I mean, the amount of food that can be stuffed into a human stomach is uh, mind blowing. I, I mean, I didn't know we had that many people training for food eating contests. Let's get right into the video. Anyone feel bad for the Cheetos? I mean, it, just, it can't just be me. Uh, it looks like she had sex with the bag. She low-key, you know what she low-key looks like? She low-key looks like Eleven from Stranger Things, uh, but everything gone wrong. Uh, she looks like Eleven Hundred. What a fat girl eats in a day. For breakfast, I had a gingerbread latte from Costa and a cinnamon bun. This was actually so good, you know. I feel like a warm gingerbread latte is what I needed this morning, you know. I needed it to fuel me. And the cinnamon bun was absolutely banging. And I was heading into London. So at the train station, I grabbed myself a fan of grape. I hadn't had one of these in ages. And you know what? I love grape flavor things. They should make more grape flavor things in the UK, I think. She's dressed like Kim Possible if she trained for a hot dog eating contest. If I was to see her at a contest and I had betting, I would put my money on her. I don't care if the other one, I don't care for competitive or five-time champions or a ten-time champion i'm putting my money on her it looks like she knows what she's doing I right i was out so i had some adult juice yeah it was pineapple flavor gorge this is the biggest scam i've ever heard of in my bloody life 10 pound for a roll and look, do you know what's inside of it a bloody tomato a bloody tomato and a piece of lettuce in a roll it's it's not tomato it is it's tomato it's tomato it's it, you're just saying it wrong if you say tomato go get checked out at the nearest hospital Go get checked out. It's tomato, okay? It's potato, it's tomato. There's no potato, there's no tomato. It is potato and tomato. And I got back from the event, and in the hotel room, I had some Thai sweet chili chicken crisps. Oh my god, banging. That's why it's today. Let me follow me for more. What the hell is an obesity influencer? Is that like promoting obesity? Or is that just an influencer that's obese? I mean, a little confused. But did she say 15,000 calories? Dude, she's she's the world's strongest man, I think, only eats like 12,000. I'll put it up on the screen if I find how many calories he eats. That's the world's strongest man. She's eating more than the world's strongest man. She's eating the Rock's cheat meal every single day. With a stomach like that, she should be named the Iron Stomach. I mean, they gotta make a movie about it. There has to be a documentary about her somewhere, right? If we ever go to war with uh, that one country that, you know, everybody's... I can't say it because YouTube will ban my video. But you know the country we're all thinking of, right? It starts with an R, ends with an A. Biggest country in the world. If we ever do go to war, I'm dropping her ass off in that country. I mean, she's probably soloing the whole country by herself. Just the initial impact of her landing on land will probably take out half the country. And if you guys have ever played Call of Duty, she's that living juggernaut, except she's just invincible. I mean, hats off to her. That takes a real iron stomach to be eating 15,000 calories. It hasn't even been half the day and she's consumed more food than people eat in the entire day. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, if your neck jiggles when you uh, eat, I feel like there's a problem that we got to look at. Uh Why are you eating an energy bar? I mean, last time I checked, if you eat an energy bar, that means you need energy. What are you using your energy for? I mean, from this video, all I can see is the most energy you've used is actually getting out of the car and going to the store. If you need energy to go back to your house, there might be something you need to do.
If you eat pancakes with your hands, you need to get uh, psychologically evaluated. I mean, that is the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Use a fork. It's there for a reason. Why would you use your hands? That's just weird. It's, it, it's not pizza. It's pancake, man. Anyways, um... So the reason why I took a month off is because I, a lot of you probably don't know this, but I've been doing YouTube consistently, like consistently for two straight years. And if you go to my videos, you know, you know, it won't go all the way back for two years because I did delete uh, a majority of my videos. I had over 300 uploads. I deleted a lot of them. And the reason for that is because I switched genres. Like I wasn't, I was doing different stuff before this. And when I started doing this, I'm like, yeah, I could do this. This is fun. But it got to a point where I was, I was literally, I was, I was upset that I had to make a video a certain day. And I was just like, man, I don't want to do it, but I just got to push myself through it. And it sucks. I had to take a break at the time where my channel was actually blowing up. Uh, but I just had to, and I did. I initially was going to take a two week break. And then I went on vacation for another week. And uh, now here we are. But, you know, now we're back. You feel me? Now we're not taking a break till 10,000 or probably another another two years. I'll take another break. But, like, yeah, I just needed that mental reset. I'm actually having fun making videos again. Like, this one was fun to make. Um, man, I'm going to be more consistent than I've ever been. It's crazy. If you got this far, hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 3,000. Like the video. Go follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM. And I responded to literally everybody. Uh, I don't think there's a single person I haven't responded to. And, you know, people in the comments can back me up there. Uh, and if you want to watch more of this fat acceptance community, I'll put a video right over here.